one second, Facebook. I'm gonna put my uh, my Trichoteria shield on. Hold on. Like Darth Vader having his helmet put on. What is up, Facebook? Oh, shit. Mm. Hold on a second. One more thing to get going here. Well, I'm doing all right. Oh, man. Went to my buddies and I had a little bit to drink. Just a little bit. Okay, that was an underestimate, but, you know. To be fair, when you have a friend invite you over and then offer to drink with you, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to turn that down. It's free booze and free company. You know what I'm saying? Oof. Uh, speaking of which, Dragon Cobra and Coke. Hold on a second. Yeah, I came home last night right around four o'clock in the morning, and. Poured myself a glass, took a couple sips, and then stuck it back in the fridge. I woke up in about four and a half hours, and I was like, well, I'm only getting four and a half hours of sleep. Well, fuck it, I guess. Uh. <sighs> now, people keep asking me about this chick, and I'm like... Well, yeah, I do plan on asking her out eventually. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. Yeah. I mean, to be quite fair, when you go 10 whole months now, yeah. When you go 10 whole months without any sort of companionship and not by choice, Oh, excuse me. I'm going to get some tobacco going on. Fucking craving some nicotine. But, um... Is that hair of the dog? Ah, uh, no. This is Dragon Cobra and Coke. I have just a little bit of that left. Going pretty good, Richie Weld. Um, back to what I was saying. If you go nine to ten months without any sort of female companionship and not by choice, it's just a shitty dating scene. And then out of the blue, you got this chick hitting on you. You know. I don't know why it's taking me this long to fucking, you know, realize it, but. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. <sighs> the three things I'll see in a woman. You know what I'm saying? Number one, okay, how is she gonna flirt with me? The first thing you'll notice in a woman is how aggressive does she flirt with me? Some women try to be subtle with that shit and it doesn't work with me. 
I'm not someone that takes up on subtle hints. Second thing I'll notice is her body type. She banging, you know. You know what I'm saying? And the third thing is personality, you know. Anybody who tells you they know it's a personality first is full of shit. Anybody who tries to act humble and sit there and say, oh, well, the first thing I know is about a person is their personality. Bullshit. How big's their dick? How big's their boobs? You're checking that out first. Ladies and men, don't lie to yourselves. Don't lie to yourselves. First thing that most chicks will check out on a guy is his bulge. What's he packing down there? Or their muscles. First thing most guys will do is they'll check out a woman's ass or her boobs and then, yeah, you know. You see, women will get pissed off when men check them out, but then they turn around and check out other men, so it's like hypocrisy much. <laughs> you know, she never gets pissed off when it's the guy she wants looking at her, right? But when it's the guy she doesn't want looking at her, He's a creep. He's sexually harassing her with his eyes. Oh, how dare he. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I get it. Nobody likes getting hit on by somebody they don't find attractive. But at the same time, fuck your double standards. Like, it's not fair that women get pissed off at men for doing the same thing that they do. Women getting pissed off at men for checking them out. When women check men out all the fucking time, even if she's married, trust and motherfucking believe when you're not looking. Now, you notice that maybe she dresses more sexy for her female friends than she does you when going out on the town for a quote-unquote date. That's usually the first sign that you're fucked. But how do you know if a chick likes you, man? If she's making claims like mine and you two aren't even dating yet, if she looks at you and says, I want to fuck, or if she's wearing booty shorts and she's just casually sticks her whole booty out more than her body when she's doing something. She's peacocking. She's saying, look at my ass. You want to smack it, but you can't because we're not dating yet. Yeah. And that's the thing of it is I could have a girlfriend like that here in town. I wouldn't have to travel long distance for it. Some of y'all be traveling two to three states away just to date your significant other half. That sucks. I feel bad for these people. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Because anyone who's stupid enough to think a long-distance relationship works is a dumbass. You had a factor in a lot of things. And he might say, oh, you're the one. But how do you know what he's doing behind your back? I'm a guy, and I had a long-distance relationship with Stephanie, and look how that turned out. I ended up cheating on her with some chick. So how do you know, you know? You can't always see your other half 99% of the time. There's going to be downtime when, okay, it's nice to have your space, you're two states apart, two, three states apart, it don't matter. How do you know they're not cheating on you? They say you're the one, 
Well, come on. Ask yourself, ladies, is your man the kind of man that a lot of chicks want? And if the answer is yes, then there you go. There's your answer. And you can't blow up their phone 24-7 to check up on them. That makes you obsessive and, you know what I'm saying? But that really speaks volume for the people in your area when you're willing to date someone two to three to four states away, dude. And it's just sad. <laughs> uh. Nah, but uh, I'm not going to lie. This chick that I'm going to ask out is pretty banging. You know what I'm saying? Cute little blonde about my height. You know what I'm saying? Real gorgeous womanly figure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, I've never actually seen a chick that hot try that hard to get with me. Like, she didn't, like, try. Like, the only thing she's trying is flirting. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean by that. It's like, when you got a chick flirting with you that hard, don't be a dumbass and ignore it. Especially when you hear other people say, I think Josh should ask out so-and-so. When you hear other people say that, it's like, yeah, come on. You know? A shout out to uh, Mark Stockton, which is Tim Stockton's brother. Happy birthday. Like, yeah. Now, if you got a chick flirting with you and you're checking her out, you're checking this chick out that's flirting with you and you're thinking, yeah, I like what I see. It's turning me on. What's up, girl? How you doing? Then ask her the fuck out. Oof. Shit. Would you knock your shit off? Look, I know you haven't had pussy in 10 months. Just... Sometimes I hate having a dick because, quite honestly, especially a big dick. Like, okay, when you get a boner and you got a big dick, there is no discreetly hiding it. You tuck it into your waistband, and eventually people are going to see. Okay, whoa, damn, Cobra's packing a magnum in his pants. What the fuck? Uh, hey, Carla. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a big dick. That's kind of hard to hide. I'm sorry, but when you have a boner, it's the fucking truth. You, when you get a boner, all you can do is see when I'm on camera. All I can do is sit down. But like, even when I'm fucking soft, you see it hanging to the side. Like, oh damn. And there are some people who are going, okay, Josh has a big dick. How the fuck does he have a hard time getting laid? That is my point exactly. It's the fucking small town like Casper. It's the dating scene in Casper. It's the autism that I have. A lot of women see the autism. They're just like, no. A lot of women know I'm a YouTube celebrity, so they think they're not good enough. And it's like, uh, between women being creeped out by my autism or me in general, or they think, okay, I'm not good enough or some shit like that. It's frustrating. And it's like, you know, I get that. If a woman thinks she's not good enough for me, I relate to that 100%. Like, I'm having confidence issues asking this chick out right now. I'm trying to psych myself up for it. Because I keep thinking, okay, I'm not good enough for her. She deserves better. But I'm like, dude, okay, this chick's making claims of you being hers, and you're not even dating. Just fucking ask her out. What's the worst you can say? No. I'm used to that. Oh, trust and believe. That got old real quickly. Every chick you like, no. Every chick you ask out, no. 
And I've noticed with me especially, I can never crush on a chick without getting told no, and it's frustrating. So I have to wait for a chick to show interest in me. It's like, okay, what the fuck? And then as soon as one chick shows interest in me, next thing you know, it's like a small chain reaction. I've noticed because this one chick has noticed me, a lot of other chicks are picking up on that shit, dude. And I'm just like, okay, what took y'all so long? Fuck. Of course, knowing my luck, you know, I'll ask her out. She'll say yes. Things will go great for a little bit. And if something sour will happen to fuck it up. I don't want to think like that, but... You know, you look at the last relationship I had, and I hate comparing apples to oranges like that, but my last relationship only lasted a freaking month, dude. And that's because she couldn't take dating a YouTube celebrity. I don't blame her, okay? I don't. The thing of it is, as soon as you, uh, <laughs> don't act so shocked. I took a shower yesterday and then I put on some camel cargos and the Cobra Craft handmade wand shirt that the fan made for me. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you, I guarantee fucking to you, if I asked her out and she actually went out with me, you'd be going, damn, bro. This chick's gorgeous. How'd you pull that? I'm a, fuck if I know. See, even if I am broke, maybe I'm not the richest all the time. <coughs> I give it 110%. You know, even if I'm not the richest guy in the world. And, you know, at least at least I try. That's the thing about, like with my last girlfriend, at least I can say, you know what, I tried. How much is my rent? Uh, it is 500 a month, all utilities included. That's pretty good. I like that. Rent here is super cheap. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, good luck finding a fucking apartment space in New York City for 500. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. There'll be people in New York City going, wait, 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 hold the phone. You pay how much for rent? Okay, fuck this. I'm moving out to Wyoming. <laughs> that little uh, homemade pipe it you saw me tinkering with on Facebook and what have you. I gave that one to Scotty because, quite frankly, he needed a new pipe. The one he had broke. Sucks, but what do you do, right? I mean, not to get too personal on Facebook, but... If you're jacking off to a chick that likes you, fucking ask her out. Like, instead of jacking off to her, wouldn't it be better to have the real thing right in front of you, cuddled up next to you? Exactly my point. <laughs> I did get my one money, but I had a massive brain fart and I accidentally spent it all. Most of it went on, went to expensive pizza orders, a little bit of booze, and getting my bike fixed. 
And I had other priorities with that money, but I totally spaced it. I didn't do it intentionally. All I can do at this point is make more wands and, you know, if I have any dues in life, get them paid off. Yeah. And if she says no or loses interest, that's my fault for waiting too long. But how hard is it to say, hey, maybe when uh, I get paid, you want to get some, uh, want to get some drinks or something? You know, that's all I got to say is, hey, you want to go out sometime? Well, that's easy. Those words are easy to say. You know what I'm saying? But I have confidence issues, and, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. I'll ask her next time I see her. I'm not going to just roll up and ask her. You know what I'm saying? Ask her over to enjoy a sweet pizza combo. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Julio. <clears throat> yeah, I do want to ask her out, but I'm hesitant because of my last relationship not ending the way. Or ending, excuse me, blah. I'm hesitant because of the way my last relationship ended, for one. And two, you know, I just can't show her off on YouTube right away. You know what I'm saying? Not, not because I'm not proud of her, but because I don't want my fans, well, lack of better term, fans, you know, trolls ripping on her and shit. And it's like, whatever, dude. I see her every once in a while. I met her here in town. That's all you need to know. Like, I'm not going to give details on how I met her and shit. It's irrelevant. Well, you know, it's to protect my ass and, you know, you know. Speaking of Teespring, hold on a second. Yes, that's what's up. Two people ordered Cobra Cult shirts, my newest design. I like that. I like that a lot. If we, if we can get 90 more people to order the shirt, I'd be a happy camper. And they're on print every three days. So, you know, which is a smart way to do it. That way from... And cannabis is kid-friendly because it treats children with epilepsy. So anybody who says, oh, well, 
That's a drug. Fuck you. See, I don't know if she's working today or not, so I'll, I'll ask her out next time I see her. I mean, she did tell me where she works, so, which is a good thing. But, um, yeah, next time I see her, I'll ask her out and be like, so... You dig me, I dig you. You want to go out for a drink sometime or what? <clears throat> I meant no swearing or tits. Oh, well, thank you, Carla. That's just from what I've seen people doing research. You want to sit there and say marijuana is not kid friendly. <laughs> Bullshit. You got children with bone cancer and epilepsy. Oh, look at that. Cannabis oil, people. CBD oil. You know what I'm saying? Charlotte's Web. Oh, cannabis isn't, we, isn't kid friendly. Okay. I got two words for you, Charlotte's Web. <laughs> Straight up. There's this chick named Alicia and she had brain cancer and people at school would make fun of her for it. And she didn't care. She started using cannabis and next thing you know, her brain cancer is gone. She goes on to college to marry some dude. There you go. I seen that story in the news a while back and I was like, right the fuck on. Who fucking does that? Like, kids are just assholes, dude. They would say things to her like, well, your opinion doesn't matter because you have cancer. That's fucked. Like, whenever, whenever this chick would do school projects and she tried to get her opinion in, like, maybe we should try it this way, you know what I mean? You know? They say things like, well, your opinion doesn't matter because you have cancer. And I'm like, wow, dude, that's just beyond f fucked. Are you going to have to sell the RZ tickets to ship the wands? No. 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 No, I'll be getting a hold of some money. Um, on the 5th. Hmm. I might be able to do it on the 4th, actually. Because all my actually no, I have to wait till the fifth to do it. <sighs> I might have to use some of my grocery money to uh, ship the wands. It is what it is. That's what I get for not being smart with my one money. And wasting it all on pizza and booze and getting my bike fixed. Which might not be out of the shop until this week anyways. We're still waiting on a replacement tire. Hmm. What Charlotte's Web look like? That is a good question. Hold on. I'm curious too. Let's see. Charlotte's Web weed strain. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Whoa, dude.
Charlotte's Web is a sativa. And apparently when people smoke it, they feel relaxed, happy, and uplifted. That's a pretty strain. If you're wondering what a strain looks like, Google it. Uh, not a whole lot. Jim just chilling out. Well, I didn't smoke anything other than this tobacco here. Um, so for my morning, it's going pretty good. I'm trying to talk myself into getting the courage to ask a chick out. And uh, this chick's pretty cute. I would date her, not going to lie. But I have confidence issues. I think she could do better. She deserves better. And... It's just not the right attitude to have, man. If you got a chick who's aggressively flirting with you, then why not take the opportunity to make it happen? No, my bike cost me $150 to get fixed. Like a little over $150, like I think $152 or some shit like that. And the pizza orders I was getting were like 40, 30, 40 dollar pizzas on, on the orders, you know what I'm saying? And that'll drain your money quickly enough if you're doing it every day. Considering there were extra large pizzas, yeah, the price was pretty fair. Jim Naharing says, go for it, Cobes. Yeah. I mean, like, it's been like I've been saying the worst she could say is no, fuck off. I'm used to women saying that, so she does. It's not going to bother me too much. But I have a feeling she might say yes. At least, you know what I'm saying? It's a bit old-fashioned that people expect dudes to make the first move, but it is what it is. The glue. Ah, oh, yes, I did. I gave that to a friend of mine who needed it for their kids' school this year because they were, you know, school supplies were, yeah. Yeah. I was like, well, my buddy seen me have it, and he's like, dude. My nephew needs school supplies, and that glue would help him out. I'm like, well, you know what? If it helps him out, cool. You know? Yeah. 
Yepers. Yeah, it'll help them out at least. That's one less school supply they'll have to buy for a little bit. No, there's no need to send another gallon of glue. I'm good on that, but I appreciate the offer. It's not my nephew. It's a friend of mine's nephew who needed the school supplies, and you know what I'm saying? That glue is going to help them out in school more than it is me because you know how it is when you're in elementary school. They require you to have some glue when you're doing projects and shit, and you can't have super glue. So, um, no, 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 it wouldn't, but I appreciate the offer. Why did he need it? Because he's in school, and and when you're in school, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes teachers will ask students to bring school supplies. It is what it is. And instead of using this little rinky-dink, tiny-ass bottle of glue that's going to run out within a week and a half, you know, yeah. Like, I'm so close to a girlfriend, I could practically taste it. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I'm gonna ask her out next time I see her.